What's going on guys, it's Hyde. I was recently sent this for review, the Jolly Look. This is the self-reclaimed first cardboard vintage instant film camera that uses Fujifilm Insects mini film. Needless to say, I was interested. I've been a fan of Fujifilm Insects and just instant film in general for a while now. And those who have been with this channel for a long time will know that I've reviewed a few different instant film cameras, so I'm familiar with the genre. Shooting instant film is already vintage in a sense, but what Jolly Look has done is take vintage to a whole nother level. They took the modern Fujifilm Insex Mini Film and made it work with a camera that looks like it's 100 years old, and this largely is attributed to using a camera with a bellows design. Nevertheless, this is something very different from what every other Insex camera manufacturer is doing. On the surface and looking at all of the marketing, this seemed to be a pretty cool camera, but let me tell you, Problems arose immediately upon unboxing. Let's first look at the camera in terms of construction. A major part of the Jolly Look marketing is that it's made of cardboard. Now this never really excited me because, well, cardboard. This material has a lot of drawbacks and weaknesses. Getting the Jolly Look in hand, it's apparent that it's made from a variety of different materials. Things like cardboard, vinyl, wood, and metal. But it is largely cardboard wrapped in what I assume is a type of leather wrapped vinyl. My first issue with construction is that it seems like everything is glued together and some of the surfaces were already separating upon unboxing. The glue is just not holding up. I looked past this and actually tried to use the camera and this is where the issues really snowballed. I'm going to quickly show you how to use this camera and explain the frustrations that come with it. The process of actually using the camera is not a complicated one, but it is one that requires a few steps. The camera comes with instructions and the manufacturer has an instructional video showing how to use the camera, but you can't understand the frustration until you actually try it yourself. First things first, we have to open up the back panel of the camera. Next we turn the crank handle until the mechanism clicks into place. Now we can install the Insects Mini Film and close the back cover. We now open the front cover of the camera and stretch the bellows out for 10 seconds. Now we rotate the crank handle again until the black protective film comes out. From here we can actually start taking photos with the Jolly Look. To do this we first have to stretch out the bellows and choose our focal distance as indicated on the front camera panel. Next we have to set the aperture by rotating the disc on the side of the lens panel. The Jolly Look comes with a reference guide in case you need help in choosing the right aperture. Next we pull out the viewfinder and look through it in order to determine our composition. Once everything is ready, all there's left to do is to press the shutter release button. Finally, we turn the crank handle again and extract our film. If all went well, the photo should develop over a short period of time. Like I said, although using this camera requires a few different steps, they're fairly straightforward and it's nothing really too complicated. That being said, the camera itself makes everything so much harder. First off, we have this bellows design and this front lens panel, and there are a few things wrong with this. Like I said earlier, to use this camera, you have to stretch the bells out and place the front lens panel in the appropriate distance marker. Well, it would help if things are actually cut out properly and things actually fit into place. The lens panel does not fit into the cutouts on the distance scale. The cutout is too small to fit the wood edges of the lens panel. Every time that I try to adjust the distance, I feel like I have to jam the edges of the lens panel into the distance scale. Over time, this entire section is going to be destroyed. The bellows themselves are also problematic. Its length is just too short, or the manufacturer could have just used a different material because the bellows just do not want to stay extended. It wants to pull everything back into the camera body. If you look up hashtag Jolly Look on Instagram, you actually see that people put sticks or straws or just something in between this area just to make the bellows stay extended. Next, the diaphragm or aperture changing mechanism, it's just terrible. This thing feels very stiff and I feel that I have to put way too much force into adjusting it. This mechanism is likely going to take some damage after some use. In terms of the viewfinder, I find it extremely inaccurate. It gives you a rough idea of what you are shooting, but the final result will be greatly different from what you saw in the viewfinder. A huge problem with this camera is the crank mechanism. This part of the camera is extremely critical because it is used to advance the film. It works for the most part, but it is also extremely inaccurate. It is very difficult to know when to stop. On multiple occasions, I've advanced too much and another film comes out. 
After taking a few different photos with this camera, I quickly found out that it doesn't work very well because, well, all of my photos turned out black, and this could be for a variety of different reasons. First reason could be just that this camera doesn't work. Second is because the bellows doesn't fully extend and this doesn't allow light to travel through the entire plane properly, which gives an improper exposure. Third, the shutter mechanism could just be extremely inaccurate. Fourth, this film crank advanced mechanism could also be defective, which means that the film isn't exposed properly. Finally, the diaphragm or aperture of this camera could just be too small, even at its widest, to actually let enough light in to expose the film. Instead of telling myself that this is just a bad product, I gave Jolly Look the benefit of the doubt and felt that the lack of light or not having enough light was the main reason for my photos turning out black. To test this, I straight up took a picture of a light fixture. This would no doubt be enough light, but guess what? I got nothing but the highlights of the light bulbs. I tried again with another light fixture and essentially got the same results. To not get too deep into how a camera works, I'm just going to say that this camera needs a lot of light. I'm talking about the brightest days of summer. If you try to take an indoor photo, it's done. You won't get anything but a black photo. Forget about the diaphragm guide or even changing it. You're basically shooting yourself in the foot if you try to reduce the light by closing the diaphragm at all. So, what can I say? This is absolutely the worst, not just insects camera, but camera in general, that I have ever tried. What's crazy is that this thing is sold for $70, and that's not even including the film. On the other hand, something like the Fujifilm Instax Mini 9 costs around $50 and very often comes packaged with film. The Mini 9 is straightforward and gives you very consistent results. Here's me using it in the same conditions as that with the Jolly Look, and on the very first try, I was able to get a proper image. This is partially thanks to the flash on the Mini 9, something that the Jolly Look desperately needs. Here's something else for you. When I was contacted to review this camera, the co-founder of Jolly Look gave me some background information on this product. This was actually a Kickstarter campaign back in 2017 where it was fully funded, but since then the company has run into some financial problems. Instead of shipping this product out to the people who backed the campaign in 2017, the manufacturer actually started selling these cameras. I would assume that this is to get some extra money to keep them afloat, but apparently two cameras are needed to be sold for every one backer reward fulfilled. Today, two to three years later, only 65% of their backers have actually received their rewards. If you look at the Amazon reviews for this product, one person actually left a review saying that she backed this product two years ago and still haven't received it, so she just bought it on Amazon and received it two days later. I was even told that Jolly Look is working on a new generation of Jolly Look Square. I would just assume that this is their version of a camera that uses Fujifilm Insect Square film instead of Fujifilm Insect Mini film. In any case, just think about it. Instead of rewarding the people who originally backed them all the way back in 2017, the people at Jolly Look are out here selling this camera, giving them away for free, and even developing new cameras instead of fulfilling the rewards that they should have in the first place. This honestly just blows my mind. To all the people who backed the Jolly Look Kickstarter and still have not received their cameras, I really hope that you get it soon. But in all honesty, if you're getting something like what I got, I would just forget about it. This thing is trash. It looks pretty good as paperweight as shelf art, but if you're looking for something that's actually functional, I would just buy a traditional Fujifilm Insects camera. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share it around, comment down below any thoughts or questions that you may have. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more content. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.